Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a... Ready? Well, his last fight will be a tough act to follow as we get ready for round one here. Brutal knockout his last time out, and that positioned him for this opportunity here tonight. So, can he keep the momentum going as the challenges get stiffer, keep the winning streak intact, and of course try to get another win by knockout to take his popularity soaring to another level? to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cut. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Pending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him as much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so though. Beautiful take down there. Critical right. takedown here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he is hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Trying to kick the leg out. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Gastelum's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Ten seconds to go. Oh, he's attacking choke. Oh. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Round two, ready? All right, second round underway. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. Over the top. This fight's going to be over. DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh. Visibly limping here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He has to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make beautiful takedown land. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, and now he's got the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO! Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.